At 150 miles per hour, the pilots slam the brakes. Tires burst, brakes glow orange, and the jet has to stop dead. This is the most brutal safety test in commercial aviation, the rejected takeoff. Every takeoff has a V1 speed, the go or no go point. Before V1, the crew can reject and stop. After V1, they have to fly. When something goes wrong below that line, everything happens in seconds. Pilots hit full brakes. Spoilers snap up to dump lift. All the aircraft's weight slams onto the wheels for maximum friction. Reverse thrust kicks in, blasting air forward to kill speed fast. In certification, jets are tested at maximum takeoff weight. Tires explode, brakes glow like lava, but the jet must stay controllable and stop safely. That's not optional. That's certification law. Engine failure, bird strike, fire warning. A rejected takeoff can happen in real life. And when it does, everything is already rehearsed. Tires and brakes are built for it. Pilots train it relentlessly. The jet can stop even after catastrophic energy loads. That slam on the brakes, it's one of aviation's most engineered safety moves.